My name is Stefan Schmidt. I will be your instructor in the American Government Political Science 215 class. Um, I will usually be there personally, but I thought I would open up the class since I'm out of town with uh, a little bit of an overview, just so you have some idea of what's going on in the class. Uh, I'm sure that you've bought the book, American Government and Politics Today. It's available as an actual hard copy book and also as an e-book. And of course, you're free to share copies of the book uh, with each other or buy them for your organization. Um, it's very important that you read the chapters in the book every week because I don't, in class, I don't cover each chapter point by point. That would be a waste of your time. You're, um, you know, you're not coming to class just to have the book regurgitated to you. And so if you read the chapters in the book, then the material that I'll bring to class that I will lecture on or talk to you about um, will be a lot clearer to you if you've got the background, uh, you know, of the material that's in here. So that's one thing that's very important. Um, the other is that I don't have uh, seating assignments and I don't take attendance the way some instructors do. I think it's a wonderful idea, but I just don't do it. Um, and so we give you more responsibility, but that also increases the risk to you, frankly. Um, last semester we had a number of students who didn't come to class very often and they missed a lot of material. Um, they missed a lot of activities in the class and the material that we cover in class will be in each of the tests. So um, you can't really get that any other way. And the activities that we do in class uh, we usually give points for. So you can accumulate points. Um, those go on and help you pump up your grade point average, which I know all of you want to do. Um, sometimes I will uh, announce an event, especially if it's some really interesting government or political event that's going on. We have a lot of cool stuff going on at Iowa State. And I will say, if you go to this event, um, we'll give you a, a coupon, a ticket with a number, and you turn that in to us at the event, and then we'll kick in a few extra points uh, for the effort that you made to go. Usually those events are at night, uh, sometimes at noon. Um, I won't, won't ever um, give one to you that I don't think would be um, really interesting and worth your time. So I'm, I'm in my office here, by the way, at Iowa State, um, and I have a lot of stuff behind me. Um, we do a lot of live blogging and Skype um, interviews with the media from this seat in my office and so I like it to be uh, you know have a little theme back here of the American flag and the United States and you know there's Iowa down there somewhere uh, a big flag of Iowa that I have so just thought you might be wondering where I'm sitting here um, so the way the class operates and that's what this first little um, segment here is going to be is we uh, have tests roughly every three weeks. There are five tests and you have to take all five tests but at the end of the semester when the fifth test is done then we go in and find the lowest score that you had <clears throat> and we throw that out and your final grade is based on the um, four best tests that you took. <clears throat> I think that's a pretty cool way of doing things. Um, you know, sometimes there's a, a day you're coming in for a test and you're tired, you've got a cold or something, you don't do as well as you normally would do. <clears throat> and I don't want to punish you for that. I want to, you know, have you have a chance to get rid of that bad score. My throat is dry because we've been doing a lot of political analysis for the Iowa caucuses and New Hampshire primary, so I'm kind of losing my voice. Sorry about that. Um, if you have any questions, we have some TAs, we have an a undergraduate TA, um, and we have several, um, a graduate TA and several undergraduate TAs. They all play a wonderful role in the class. <clears throat> if you have any questions, um, talk to my TAs first. They usually have the answer quicker than I do, actually. They're kind of every day, they're in touch with the WebCT site. Um, of course, you need to go to the class WebCT site because uh, there'll be a lot of stuff there. There are some discussions that we'd like you to do as well. Make sure you read and understand the instructions for those because those are actually for points. Um, this year, uh, my TAs are very demanding. If you just go in there and BS, uh, and it's obvious that you just didn't think about what your 
typing into the discussion form, um, they will not give you the full points for the discussion. They're, um, I like that. I think they're pretty demanding and they want uh, us to uh, show you the, the respect that we should, that uh, we respect you and you should respect us for being serious in this class. American government and politics is, um, I just had a phone call, by the way, a few minutes ago from uh, a reporter and she said, why should students care? Why should students care about the caucuses and so on? Well, the reason is that government and politics in the United States, as in every country, is not somebody else's business. Um, government and politics determines what your tuition is. It determines whether you get health care or not. It determines whether businesses are over-regulated and just can't create jobs. It um, also uh, is the determining factor whether you live securely uh, and knowing that every day that you get up, the United States will be okay, will be safe, and you will be safe. Uh, or on the other hand, vulnerable to um, both physical and cyber attacks by uh, criminals, by people from other countries, by foreign powers that want to want to do us in, um, and everything else. I mean, you know, do you have our roads good? I <laughs> some of the roads in the United States are falling apart. I just uh, heard a report uh, from a, actually a college student. I think it was in New Hampshire who. Uh, went into a pothole up there and broke an axle and cost, uh, you know, a couple of thousand dollars to replace. Um, we don't have private roads. Those roads that you're driving on out there, those are all public roads. They're paid for by um, usually gasoline taxes, but by taxpayers. And, and they're kept up by, by government, either federal government for the federal highways or local government. So, you know, I want you to Basically, I want to increase your discomfort zone thinking that, well, you know, I'm an art major or I'm a philosophy major, an engineering major or whatever, and what does government and politics really have to do with my life? It's three credits that I need and I don't really, you know, care too much about any of that. I want you to feel uh, everywhere that you go, um, look and see what the impact of government is for good or for, or for evil. Um, sometimes government does things that are not good, that are bad, that uh, hurt, hurt the country, hurt individuals. Um, and if you ever um, do some things that uh, whatever level of our society thinks are not good things, um, you're going to become familiar with the Story County Justice Center, which is more commonly known as the Story County Jail, um, or the Ames uh, Police will, will pick you up and ask you some questions and maybe ask you to breathe into a device. Um, those are all government trying to basically uh, shape our society around what we've decided through our laws uh, we want it to be. Um, the same is true, I mean, um, you know, when you, when you come to Iowa State, uh, this is a public university and a lot of what goes on here uh, was determined by legislation that was written by the legislature. I went to a private university, Columbia University in New York, and it was very different. It was not a state-run university. Um, we had bars and, and, and social places where alcohol was served, uh, and there was a, a, a lot of um, more permissiveness in a sense because we didn't have politicians telling the university um, what it could and couldn't do and threatening with cutting its funding. So even something like that, you know, is is part of what we try to do in this class. And I hope that you'll raise your hand frequently and ask questions or make comments in class um, because I, I want to know what you're thinking. Um, and also, frankly, um, we, you know, you should know that I will never make fun of you or um, somehow hold it against you if you say something or ask something that is either incorrect or that I don't happen to agree with. Uh, there's no such a thing as a stupid question in this class. Uh, every every question, every comment is, is valid and I appreciate it. And um, I don't go around calling on people. Some of our professors in this department do that and I think that's a wonderful idea. I, I, I don't do it, uh, but uh, occasionally I will. Occasionally I'll walk up to you, especially if you're asleep in class, you know, if you're, um, or if you uh, look like you're listening to uh, too many soundtracks. Uh, on your iPhone and uh, not maybe getting all the information that we're exchanging in the classroom. So um, look forward to having uh, this get together 
uh, twice a week here this semester. Thanks a lot. We'll, we'll see you personally in class pretty soon.